Hey everybody, welcome to Five for a Change's video. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how I built a plastic shredder. Now, I took the plans from the Precious Plastic guys, I looked them over, and we built it kind of modified to our own version. We made a mobile version that we could take out and educate people with. It was a lot of hard work, but I wanted to share the progress with you guys, so enjoy the video. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm in the shop right now. What we're going to do is we're going to cut out some stuff. Uh, we're just going to work on some three millimeter steel right there. Stainless steel is super expensive, but as you can see, I've got the plasma cutter behind me. So let's go ahead and get cutting. If you want to help out to donate, we'll give you a link and uh, let's get this done. Plasma cutter is cutting out the parts that we're going to use. Really quick. Behind me, I've got the blades cut for the precious plastic shredder. So this was the big deal right here. Took me a little while to get it done, get it all laid out, but I'll show you real quick what it looks like after it's cut out. But this is uh, getting close. If you lay it out right, you get a nice neat pattern. And here we go, we've got this right here, the shredder blades on the hex bar. Now we just need to get the hopper and it all put together. We've got all the pieces cut out. Still got quite a ways to go, but I've got all these lined up with the spacers. I've got the actual blades as they're going to sit in the shredder. Now I need to get the axe laid down, which is actually right there. They're, they're working on it right now. They're teaching a the class, but that's what I need to do next is I need to, to get this milled down to a smooth surface. Got it put together. She's running pretty smooth. Obviously, got to get the bearings on the side. Got to mill this down. Got it turning, and we... Uh, I just have to do a little tweaking here. Now the question is, will she eat a bottle? There's yeah, one over there. It. Well, it'll you pop out. It? Yeah. Oh, well, you can do the honors. <laughs> oh! So decided to put a Lexan case around it so people can see the bottle being shredded. Normally this would be a hopper that you couldn't see through but we wanted to make something kind of tough so that you could see it as it's being shredded. I finally got this all welded up after just messing around with it. This was actually Jeremiah's idea with the corner braces here and that's a really good idea because now it makes it super steady. Okay, what I've done here is we've gone ahead and drilled out some smaller holes that will go on the bottom of that right there. It's not very pretty, but it'll work. There you go. So let's chew up some plastic. It takes it a little bit. We've got some pretty small holes. I don't know if they're getting plugged up or what, but let's chew on some plastic. That's good. Alright, so all that plastic right there from that shredder. Need to buy a little case for it. Nice and tiny. Now that you've seen how we built it, I want to show you kind of the finished product. What we've got here is a two horsepower motor and it's hooked into a gearbox, which is 25 to one reduction, which we would rather have 30 to one reduction, but it still works. Now, the power for the motor is coming from a 110. Normally, if this was stationary, We'd want a 220 because we would have more power with 220. We could get a bigger horsepower motor, but since we made it mobile, 
decided to go with 110 so that we could at least plug in in most spots without having to use a generator etc etc now I've got it wired in to the motor and it goes into this upcycled coffee can I know this kind of seems trivial but I try to upcycle stuff so we've got this coffee can and it's mounted onto the gearbox right there got the wires going in now right here I've got a big start stop switch which is really nice because when it jams up you can just slap it real quick and it stops also there's my start switch and here's my forward and reverse switch this allows for me to not only go forward but if it gets jammed up which it does every once in a while I can hit reverse pop it out and then go back to shredding plastics now here's my safety cover for what I call the PTO I grew up on a farm so that to me is a PTO but um, it's also the drive shaft for the shredder now this is Lexan so it's pretty tough just got some aluminum to brace it and inside we're using a square tube and we've got the round shaft to a round shaft but we wanted to be able to allow for some wobble in there so that we didn't have to have it perfect perfectly lined up now when I say that it's because this obviously is not built perfectly um, there's a lot of flaws to it but it works well and I'm just going to show you the inside here there's the cutting blades on the front side is where it chews it all up on the back side is an open space if you need to reverse it out let me get it in focus there and we don't have a screen at the bottom as you can see it falls right through it actually cuts a lot bigger chunks than what we want but the screen had a tendency to gum up and it really stalled it out bad that way also a few design flaws that we need to change is I need to put um, right here need to put some angles in there so that there's no flat spots because right now those are flat spots and flat things get stuck on there and it's kind of a pain to shred it but we've got our cutouts that I did on a vinyl cutter warning crush hazard obviously you want to make sure that everybody knows that and right down in here got a little slide for it just mounted that comes out the front so when the plastic comes through slides off and then usually we just put a box at the bottom of the base now right now we're getting this thicker stuff but we do get the really small stuff also which I don't currently have up here but it can get really really small if you put a screen on it which makes it a lot nicer to try to melt down but that's currently what we're getting which works but it's a little harder to melt down now mind you the majority of all this stuff was kind of built with what we had lying around and what we could find at uh, Make ICT, which is a maker space. But this is just kind of my little thing to plunge it down there and also it covers it for whenever it's not in use. But that's pretty much how it's been built. I mounted it all to a little mobile table that is hydraulic. And I did most of this for about $600. And there are a few things I could change next time, but you learn as you go. This is our first prototype, but this is a hydraulic table that allows for me to go up and down, but also allows for me to be mobile with it because we were having people that wanted us to take it and demo it. So not only did we create the safety factor here because we don't want anybody getting tied up in this, but we also make sure that they know not to stick their hands in there and we've got this little plunger just to make sure things don't fly out the top because if you don't have that plunger things will literally fly right out the top and of course got to have the logo on it so created a five for a change vinyl logo all this was actually done at make ICT it was a fun project took about two months because we didn't know what we were doing but the rest of this was all cut out on a plasma cutter including the blades mounted it to there I don't have this mounted yet, but I will mount this. As always, thank you for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe this video. If you found it interesting, if you found it educational, let other people know, especially if you're watching on Facebook, please share this video. Let people know that Five for a Change is out here trying to make a difference. The more you share, the better. We're gonna try to 
kick this plastic habit. I mean, literally, this is something that is going to overtake the earth if we don't do something about it. We gotta make a change. And the good thing about Kansas is they just made it legal to grow hemp, so maybe we can also start making a change in that area. But I'll keep you updated with everything. Also, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. We always love feedback. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Well, we got halfway through. I might be spinning on this too. I'm using a 12 point. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs>